Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th lecture in the Streamlit series. In this video we will be dealing with some more functions in Streamlit. So first obviously we will import the Streamlit as st and then go and start the command prompt. So our canvas is open. Now the first function that we have is st.stop that is used to basically whenever there is a program the Streamlit program that is running and whenever you want the user to enter something and not go beyond that or not go forward without entering that that is the time when you use stop so i'll give you an example let's say you want the email of the user so you say st dot text input text input and then you say enter email okay now if the user has not entered the email okay so if not email you give a warning that enter your email please okay please so enter your email so you're basically warning the user that you need to enter your email otherwise this will not run and then you say st dot stop so what happens and let's say after that once the email has been given you say st dot let's say success and then you can say go forward or go ahead okay so what happens is let's say the user has not entered the email yet obviously the email will be false not of false will be true and hence the if statement will come uh, it will satisfy so first thing that it will do it is it will give you a warning and then it will stop which means the entire program will stop anything after this okay anything after this inside if or outside if doesn't matter will not work it's like something like terminating the program at a certain point so you go over here and then you rerun so it says enter your email and the warning is there enter your email please okay so you let's say you entered ab abc uh, at the rate gmail.com okay and now you can say that okay fine once the email has been entered now it says go ahead so this is how you're going to use the st dot stop you basically use it when you have to ask the user to wait for you you have to wait for a certain condition to be fulfilled only after that you are going to run the further program now the next widget that we have is the form widget and this is very very important okay so the way you initialize this is you say form equal to st dot form okay and then you can say over here basic form okay now obviously form has certain input uh, elements so for example you can ask the name okay so let's say form dot text input you'll not have st dot text input okay you'll have form dot text input so you will say form dot text input and then you can say name okay same thing with the age so you can say form dot uh, you can say slider okay not st dot slider form dot slider and then you can pass here age you can say age and the thing that you can pass over here is min value so min value let me have it as 18 i can also have max value i'll initialize it as 100 and step is going to be one okay lastly what you can do you can have date okay so you can say form dot date input date input so let's let's have the birthday so i'm going to say birth day and the value needs to be given so i'm going to say so i have imported date time over here as you can see i'm going to say uh date time date time dot date and then i'm going to say 2023 comma 4 comma 13 which is today's date okay obviously this is the default value you can change this value uh in the form so now i'm going to say uh submitted submitted so now we are going to have the click me button or the submit button okay i'm going to say form dot form submit button and then i'm going to pass a value that is going to be the text that is going to submit that is going to appear on the button okay and i'm going to check if submitted so let's say if the user has hit the submit button what i'm going to do i'm going to write all the stuff over here so i'm going to say st dot write i'm going to write the name i'm also going to write the age and i'm also going to write your birthday now one thing to remember over here is let's say if instead of form it was st okay now what would have happened once you finished writing name 
you when you went to the age format all of the things would have run right this is how it works but when you have form dot anything form dot anything all of these things will not uh, the value of all of these things will not be taken until the submit button has been clicked until this line has been run okay so what i'll go what i'll do is i'll go over here and i'm going to hit rerun so you can see there are certain things ideally if i were, if i write the name so let's say datum and if i were to go over here something would have happened you know the script would have rerun but here it will not i'll show you something i'll show you in a second okay now i'm going to have the slider see i'm changing the slider no change is happening over here also i'm coming i'm changing the birthday let's say from uh, april we'll push it to august 2023 we will go back to let's say 2015 and 18 so you see until unless i don't submit the button the nothing will happen once i submit you can see the values are printed however let's say over here you had just before the submit button you had st dot write name age date it will give something else so i'm going to i'm going to refresh the entire thing you can see already there is something written over here even before me entering anything this is there okay which means this is a problem because we the user hasn't entered anything and this has come so the idea is not have anything over here and these are the things that will be printed only once submit button is hit okay so we can do that you can again form uh, fill all the things and then submit the same thing will happen so now we are going to go for the third widget which is the set page config now i generally don't use it but i have to show it to you that's why i'm using it so set page config okay you can do certain things you can give the page title so let's say if you want to give the page title page title you say new app okay and uh, let's say a layout this is how i use it i only use the layout form okay a layout uh, condition so i'm going to say wide what is going to happen is you will see that now the entire thing will uh, broaden up as you can see I mean, there's nothing printed. So what I'll do is I'll write st dot write, and I'm going to write hi. Okay. By the way, you can see the name has changed to new app. I'm going to rerun. Now see, hi has been printed over here. Earlier it used to be print. It used to print in the center. Now all of the other things, even the form will come like that. Okay. So this is sometimes used. I rarely use it, but if you want to use it, you can. Okay. Now I'm going for another widget which is st.eco. So I'm going to say so st.eco is basically it is used to show some portion of code but also run that code. Which means let's say I'm going to have a function. Okay, I'm going to have function summ, and I'm going to take in two values a comma b, and I'm going to return the sum of the uh, sum of the values. So I'm going to say return a plus b. Now I'm going to start with something like st dot echo so i'm going to have an echo function now inside this whatever i'm going to write i have to write code or um, comments whatever whatever i'm going to write will be printed on the canvas will be printed in the browser as well as run so it will be both printed and run i'm going to show you so let's say i'm going to have another function mult mult okay and here also i am be i will be having two uh, numbers a comma b and I'll be returning the multiplication of a comma b. So I'll say a into b. After that, what I'm going to have, I'm going to define a that is 10. I'm going to define b that is 20. And I'm going to say su is equals to sum of a comma b, uh, a comma b. And I'm also going to have multiplication that is mu. I'm going to say mult. And here also I'm going to pass a comma b. And lastly, st dot write st dot write i'm going to say su su and mu okay and lastly what i'm going to do i'm also going to write something outside the echo function i'm going to say st dot write this is outside this is outside so as i said whatever is inside the echo this part is inside the echo right so this will be printed 
rest all of it will not be printed this will be printed but everything will be run okay this will be printed but all of this will be run so you come over here you wait for the rerun to come if it is not okay it has come you see whatever was inside the uh, inside the echo function it has been printed and also it has been run so you can see the sum is over here even though the sum function was outside the mult function was inside so the mult function was here the sum function was over here as you can see the sum function was over here so everything has run but only this part has been shown okay obviously this was right so you know st dot right has come from sumu but this is outside this has come from the other st dot right which is over here okay so this is one important uh, widget okay one important widget now what i have to do is comment this out lastly is st dot help again i don't use it a lot often because i use the documentation you can let's say have i want to know the information of what is date time okay i'm going to go over here and then rerun so it gets fast implementation of the date time type let's say i want the uh, um, documentation of not documentation some information about st dot um, date time dot time what is the relevant information about this so it says okay time hour this is the format that it uses and uh, and some information about that so i hope you understood the video and bye